I wanted to do a quick video on if your GPS isn't working after you've installed a new APIM or done an upgrade from Sync 2 to Sync 3. The problem that I had was I'd finished my upgrade, uh, everything seemed to be working just fine, and then when I did a um, as-built update, I lost my navigation function. The navigation went away from here, I got a little compass, and then my navigation just wouldn't work at all. So I had to go in and figure out exactly what to do and what setting got messed up because obviously it worked when I got it, and then when I updated to the Ford as-built to my VIN number, my navigation went away because this car didn't come with navigation when it had Sync 2. So what you're gonna have to do is install uh, a program called Forescan, and you're gonna have to buy a little adapter. Um, I'm using a Bluetooth one right now, or you can use one that actually hooks into your computer. I'm using a Microsoft Surface, so I don't have a USB port, but I have Bluetooth. Um, first thing you're gonna need to, do, need to do is download and install Forescan. I'll put a link to that, and I'll also put a link to a video on kind of what it is and what it does. If you're already familiar with that, the setting that we're gonna need to change is let's see inside here so we're going to click um, this little chip we're going to go to configuration and programming then we're going to go to APM APIM module configuration as built format now this is where there's just a bunch of numbers and letters and you kind of need to know what you're doing what we're going to do is go up through here 7DO-01-02 this has to do with our navigation and specifically the second digit of this first four um, digits right here. The second one you can see is a three right there. You're gonna need to try different ones from uh, ranging from three to nine. So in my case right here, it was set to zero, or sorry, it was set to a one or a two, navigation disabled. Uh, I tried four, five, and six, and none of them worked when I tried three, it did work. So then my navigation started working. And uh, to kind of explain why it started working, we'll take a look here at this um, as-built sort of format set up here. So I'll put a link to this as well. We're down here on Sync 3 for APIM settings. Here's our 70-01-02. -O and here are all the different settings. So you can see right here, we're gonna be changing the second digit because there's an asterisk right there. Uh, zero is USB 2 disabled, navigation disabled, rear EFP disabled. Um, we need to go down to the first one that says navigation enabled, which is number two. So number two um, and number three, the only difference is the rear EFP. So for my car, a 2014 Ford Fusion, we're gonna to need to enter number three right here, which is USB 2 disabled, navigation enabled, and we're gonna use the Telnav uh, common HMI, EFP enabled. Um, I know this is kind of a, a specific video, but hopefully if you're having a problem where your GPS isn't working, and you've, like I said, either updated your Sync 3 or updated from Sync 2 to Sync 3, this is the thing you're gonna to have to test out and figure out um, for yourself. So 70O-01-02, second digit right here, which correlates to this second digit right there. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.